All right, Gemini, getting ready to do your reading here. Let me just uh, flatten that out a little bit. There we go. Well, nope, that didn't do anything. All right. <laughs> okay, Gemini, getting ready to do your reading. This is a random love reading, uh, timeless random love reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, the energies around are the energies around right now. So you can look at this as a bonus, bonus March 2021 reading if you're watching it right now, making this reading on March 1st. Uh, but these are timeless. Energies are cyclical. So if you find it two years from now or six months from now, that's when you were supposed to find it. It's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Uh, but if the title brought you in here, I promise you I match the titles to the highlight of the reading. So um, if the title brought you in here, you were supposed to find it. There's no doubt about that. Giving the deck a quick shuffle here for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, random love, timeless reading, getting the energies around everything right now. Here we go, here we go. We're gonna cut the deck for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Random, timeless love reading. Let's see where we go, let's see where we go. Give the deck one last little shuffle. It's telling me to do that, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, if you'd like, a, I'll, I'll plug myself here. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you guys have been keeping me real busy. Uh, but I love doing them for you. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you, uh, I have a lot of, I've learned a lot from the personal readings uh, you guys, about the energies around you guys and things like that. Uh, you can visit stevesloveterot.com. My website is online. Link in the description or uh, up in the banner section of my uh, YouTube channel, of course. And uh, it's all, because people have asked, it's all confidential. It says so on the page. It's all private. I don't share your information. Just submit the form, and I send you back the reading. I get the energies around it, and it's specific to your situation. Let me tell you, it can be information is power. Knowledge is power. All right, I'm going to pull a uh, card for the energies around your person, Gemini, how they feel, how they feel about you, advice, or what the universe wants you to know, and a final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything, and then I'm going to throw some universe cards over the top. All right, just to get some final answers. Let's see where we go here, Gemini. First card out is the Six of Pentacles. Are the energies around your person or the situation, the Six of Pentacles, is an energy of equal give and take here. Your person wants equal give and take uh, with you. They want some balance to the situation. It's way out of whack right now. I can feel that energy. Uh, Gemini, how they feel in general. This is their emotions. Uh, the Eight of Wands, they want to communicate big time. This is the Eight of Wands. This is passionate, rapid, fast communication, fast movement. Uh, this is like the card of communication in the tarot deck. Um, text messages. Usually, lately, especially, it's, it's internet-based or text-based communication. But, you know, it could be face-to-face -face as well. It's not, not, it, it doesn't matter. It's just these days, that's how it tends to roll. Uh, they, they feel the, the, ur the strong urge to reach out, okay, to have it come up. They have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands usually comes up as a clarifier card or something like that, but to have it as a baseline card here in the how they feel and their general emotions section, all right? If you're waiting to hear, if you've been waiting to hear from this person, uh, they coming, all right? Um, how they feel about you, specifically, Gemini, the King of Swords, all right? Um, the King of Swords is a, is, a, is a person of action. They see you as a person who does what they say they're going to do. This is a, a man or woman, male or female. This is a person of their word. And in this position, it's a good person to be seen as, although they do see you a little bit closed off in your emotions, Gemini. Uh, you're not, they, don't sh they don't see you giving, them, giving as much to this connection as you did before. Uh, whatever that means to your situation, it's a general reading. So again, whatever that means to your situation, they see you not giving as much as you were. Maybe you're focused on other things now. You're focused on work. You're focused on whatever. And that's fine. But that, that's how they see you. That's their perception. Whether it's true or not, people's perception of us is what it is. Uh, what the universe wants you to know about this. The King of Cups. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love between the two of you. Um, but not expressed fully. The King of Cups tends to keep uh, the cards close to the vest. One, uh, in most decks, it's one foot on the, on the ground and one foot in the water. So they're not really, there hasn't been a lot of feelings revealed here on either both sides or on one side or the other. Likely on one side or the other. 
because we opened with a card and an energy that I can read clearly is out of balance, okay? Is Six of Pentacles is about getting balanced, needing a need for balance, all right? Um, all right, final outcome, what did I say? Boom, uh, the uh, eight, of, eight of Pentacles. This is a card of working on things. You guys are, gonna, so maybe their perception of you, I pointed over here because maybe their perception of you is wrong. Yeah, you're focused on work, you're focused on other things, but uh, you're willing to work on things. Uh, this is the two of you working on things. You guys are going to be working on this connection. Uh, you both feel that this connection is worth putting the time and effort into. So perhaps their perception of you is wrong. We'll, we'll know a little more when we clarify what's going to happen and, and who's going what. So let's clarify. Let me shuffle the deck here a little bit. Let's clarify that Six of Pentacles over there, right here, and the energies around your person or situation. Uh, definitely we got some imbalance here. We've got some out of balance connections happening uh, or energies, I should say. Uh, yeah. Okay. Clarified by the four of pentacles and the page of wands. Okay. Yeah. They feel this connection is, uh, th there's an energy of out of balance. They want to bring this connection into balance because they want to hold on to you. This is someone, and, and I'm going to tell you why, uh, this card clarifies the six of pentacles. So the reason they want balance is because they want to hold on to you. This card, the uh, Page of Wands, clarifies the Four of Pentacles. And, and this tells me right here that they see your value. They have a lot of passion for you, okay? They see a lot of value in you. This is a miserly card. This is the person who keeps all their money in the mattress, okay? Keeps all the love close to their heart. It's sometimes someone holding a pentacle right up to the heart chakra, okay? Uh, they have a lot of passion for you, and they, they see your value. And that's, that's the energy around this situation right now, is a need for balance because your person wants to hold on to you, and they have a lot of passion and sees your value. Uh, the Eight of Wands, they really want to communicate. I mean, it's in their soul. I mean, it, this is their emotions. We're reading the soul in this position here. Emotions aren't in the brain, okay? That is right there. A soul energy, and in their soul, they want to communicate. <laughs> I love tarot. Uh, clarified by the lovers, yeah. Uh, and the Queen of Wands, even more passion than the Page of Wands. The Queen of Wands, this, this person is crazy attracted to you, Gemini. Crazy attracted to you. Um, I don't dare say what they do in their free time with your picture, okay? Let me put it to you that way. Uh, I don't dare say it. Um, the lovers clarifies the eight of wands. So in the soul, they want to communicate. Okay. Why? Because you guys are a soulmate connection. That's why it's the lovers. It's a clear cut card. It is the soulmate connection card. So of course they feel it in their soul. They want to communicate. I'm surprised the high priestess hasn't come out. Let me pull the next guy. It's not the high priestess. Oh, well, I was hoping the high priestess was next. Um, they have a lot of passion for you. Like I said, it, it, it's showing up twice. Uh, a lot of attraction, a lot of passion. I'm gonna pull one more card here because I, I pulled it and I, and I looked at it. it. It ties with these. It's the Knight of Cups. So the communication, they're bringing you a cup of love, okay? The Knight of Cups is coming. Uh, the Knight of Cups is coming in here. And uh, that, is, that is really spectacular. Now, the thing to remember with the Knight of Cups is you guys might have had some problems in the past. Uh, there's a reason this is out of balance and they've realized they wanna hold on to you. Uh, the Knight of Cups, while a terrific card to have come towards you, um, is trailed by a trail of broken hearts, okay? So there's something that's happened here in the past is what the Knight of Cups is telling me. But this is a soul connection. They feel it in their soul. They want to communicate because they got a lot of passion for you, a lot. King of Swords is how they see you, okay? They see you maybe detaching a bit, maybe focusing on your work. You're not giving this as much attention as you used to. Uh, clarified by the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, the Knight of Swords clarifies the King of Swords. Again, they see you going, flying the other way. Flying the other way, all right? Um, and uh, the Seven of Wands is a card of being defensive, taking care of your business. Uh, uh, you know, someone who stands up for what they believe in, takes care of their business. Um, but what they... They also see, but they, you know, again, that this light here, there's still a light. You're still looking back, even if that's true. Granted, this is only their perception. 
But if it's true and you're focused on other things like your work and stuff like that, you do look back once in a while. You are keeping an eye on this. And I know that anyway. You wouldn't be here getting a tarot reading about this situation if you weren't looking back every once in a while. So, But you always got to do what's best for you and take care of you. All right. Let's take a look at this King of Cups, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with this King of Cups here. Let me give the deck a quick shuffle for this King of Cups. There we go. Here we go. King of Cups. The High Priestess. There it is. I said I wanted it there, but... Uh, Nah, it's fine here. This is the universe is talking. This is that, uh, part of the reading. This is the universe talking to you, telling you what you need to know. Uh, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, wow, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. The readings today are incredible. I've done a, I've done a few uh, personal readings that were just mind-blowing today. Um, the King of Cups. The universe wants you to know that you know there's, there's love here on both sides, but it's out of balance. It may not have been shown by the other person. Uh, clarified by the high priestess, this other person is using their intuition now. We know that because they feel in their soul they want to connect with you and communicate with this eight of wands because it's a soulmate connection. They have a lot of passion for you. Now they're using their intuition. They're not using their brain anymore. Now they're already past the fact their brain already knows they want to hold on to you okay? because they see your value. Now they're using their intuition. Nine of Cups clarifies the high priestess. This is a wish fulfilled. You're their wish fulfilled. Okay? You are their wish fulfilled, Gemini. Uh, and you both want to work on this. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, this is a card of working on things and making things, making things work. Uh, hammering out the differences. Balancing things out. Getting things to work right. It's clarified by, hold on a minute, the Nine of Swords. Yep, that makes sense. And the Hanged Man. That makes sense too. The, the root core reading is ending on a major arcana card. Okay? This is, uh, there's some fate, some destiny here. The major arcanas are run by the universe, not us. These are the big things. Um, again, you both want to work on this. Uh, in their case, uh, they're up in their head about this. This is the Nine of Swords. This is pacing the kitchen at 2 o'clock in the morning with a bottle of whiskey. Why? Well, this card is clarified by the hanged man. They've got a new opinion of you. I mean, we already know that. They now see your value. Okay, oh, all of a sudden you see my value. Great. Right. Uh, they, they have a new opinion of you. They've had their dark night of the soul. Okay. And now they're using their intuition because you're their wish fulfilled and they didn't bring in the, the, the proper amount of love. Uh, they only brought you half a cup, if, if, if any cup, which is probably why you're looking away and working on your work. If that's true, that's their perception of you and you're just taking care of you. You're doing what's best for you. Um, and they see you doing that with vigor. Okay, with you know, I'm hey, I'm I'm working here. Uh, the the King of Swords is clarified by a sword card. Both of these are cards of movement. Okay, uh, this is wands. This is passionately standing up for what you believe in and doing what's best for you. Um, they've had a change of you know. Again, this is uh, someone who's been through the dark night of the soul. Um, let's get it. Let's get the uh, can't talk. Let's get some clarifiers over the top. Okay, there we go. I'm like a skipping record today. What the hell is wrong with me? So this is a powerful energy in this reading. This is a powerful soulmate connection. Uh, this lover's card came out very early in the reading and clarified a communication card in the soul position. I mean, this is a powerful reading. We don't need a two of cups to come out to show us it's powerful, to add to the lovers. Usually I like to see the lovers and the two of cups in a reading. Uh, and then I go, oh, okay. All right, or the lovers and the six of cups in a reading and I go oh okay I don't need that the lovers is the most powerful soulmate card anyway um, and it's in the soul connection it's the first clarifier and it's clarifying the eight of wands which is wanting to communicate to you from the soul so let's uh, ask the universe here I'm shuffling the deck to ask the universe if there's anything else you uh, need to know about this person or situation for the greater good of things let's see where we go here Gemini all right let's cut the deck let's cut the deck for the universe all right, here we go. Here we go. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're just going to throw some cards. Sometimes we get repeat messages, and sometimes we learn something new. Hey, just throwing cards here. Uh, there's a new beginning coming for this. They want a new beginning. I think you do, too, on some level. It's the Ace of Wands. That's passionate new beginning. There's a lot of passion uh, in them for you. Like I said, I don't with, with this... Page of Wands going to this Queen of Wands and now to the Ace of Wands. I don't dare think what they're doing with your picture. 
Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not going there. Uh, nine of Pentacles. There's stability coming to this situation. Uh, this is all what the universe wants you to know. The universe wants you to know there's a new beginning coming. Uh, we know that because they're communicating with you. So unless you blow them off and call them all sorts of names, uh, there's probably a new beginning coming. There's stability coming to this too. It's nine of pentacles. It's a card of stability. The empress, abundance, uh, birthing something new. The moon on this empress card here in this deck tells me there's things you don't know that you're going to learn about. Okay, they're, they're going to be very open with you. This is arguably, for me, one of the best cards to get in a love reading, if not the best. The Empress, is. this is powerful. The Empress trumps everything that's here. It literally, this one card trumps everything that's here. It's all of the queens in one card. Uh, it is a powerful, powerful card. Um, Four of Swords. Uh, again, we already know they were in a dark night of the soul. They're in their head about this. They're thinking about you. If you wondered if they're thinking about you, they're thinking about you. You are in their head, Gemini, uh, day and night. Um, the devil came out. We got devil energy out here. We've got some, again, a little bit of obsession. I'm seeing two cards of passion here, three cards of passion if we count the Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, Queen of Wands. I said, I don't dare not think what they're doing with your picture. This person is a little bit obsessed with you. But you guys are a soul connection. That's to understand. This is the chains that bind. You've got both the lovers and the devil. In most decks, the devil has a picture of the lovers on it chained to the devil. So we've got a light and dark kind of thing going on here. So you've got a push-pull. You've got a runner-chaser kind of situation happening here. And I bet that's what's been going on on some level. All right, You're in, they're out. They're out, you're in. It's th think about it. The reading talks about them being in right now, all in. Oh my God, got to hold on to my Gemini. But yet they see you as out. They see you, at, well, not out, out, but you're focused on other things. You're focused on your work. You're focusing on yourself. You're doing that with vigor. All of a sudden, devil energy kicks in. And now, you know, it's, uh, they're all in. So it's, it's a light and dark kind of soul connection. This is a power, I told you, this is a powerhouse connection, Gemini. This is a real deal. Uh, let's take a look for fun at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> God, I love tarot. Bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, arguably one of the most powerful major arcana cards in the deck. We end the reading with the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is turning on this. We know there's a new beginning coming. We know there's communication. And we now know it's an extremely powerful connection. The wheel is turning. All right. The Wheel of Fortune is the last card out. There is nothing. This is destiny, fate, whatever word you want to use. There it is. So, that, so pardon any banging you hear. We're having roofing done today. I apologize if, it, if you can pick that up through the mic. Um, yeah, this is a powerful, powerful connection and a powerful reading with powerful changes coming. Um, if you're worried that they see you as, as looking away and doing other things, um, they may be watching your social media. I don't see any cards that tell me that. But if uh, you might want to just put some strategic posts out on your social media. Let them know you're, you're still interested in that. Maybe a, a favorite thing they like or something like that. Put up a picture of it. I don't, I don't know. Uh, you know. You know about your situation. So that's the reading, Gemini. I hope this was helpful to you. If you like the reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate the subscribers. I appreciate all of you. All of you, you people who've done the personal readings and everything. Man, I promise I'm going to try not to let you guys down. We're going to, keep, we're going to grow this channel. We're going to keep this channel going. Even take reading requests one day, I bet. Um, we'll come up with some way to do that where you know we can do some live stuff and do all that fun stuff. Uh, if you would like a personal reading with me, again, visit stevesloveterro.com. It's easy. It's confidential. I'm not sharing your information with anybody. I don't, I don't even like most other people. I wouldn't give them information. Uh, the reading, the uh, form, you just submit a form, and it's, it's, it's really a piece of cake. It's no problem. Um, that's it. Good luck with this person, and be careful with this connection, Gemini. If, if you're still with me, if you don't shut off the videos at the end. Uh, they, I hope you didn't. All those people that did are going to miss me saying this. This is a powerful connection. It's a bit like having a car with 800 horsepower. All right, Use it wisely. Be very careful because this, this connection will do 220, 230 miles an hour without any problem. Um, so be very careful because right now it would appear you're in traffic. All right, With this Nine of Swords, this Hanged Man, 
and this eight of pentacles, was, which is the need to work on things, and the six of pentacles, which is the need to balance things. Um, it looks like you're in traffic right now. And sometimes, speaking as a guy who has some fast cars, uh, a car with 800 horsepower can be a real bitch in traffic. Okay, it's not fun. It's, you got to let the car in front of you really get far ahead of you before you creep up on them. All right, so just be careful with this. This is, this is a powerful connection, these two cards together with the Wheel of Fortune on top of them. Um, very powerful. Thank you, Gemini, and good luck to you. And if I called you another sign at any point in this video, I apologize. This is for Gemini.